Hey yo, what's poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode on the TG channel. Now in today's video, we're gonna be going over five top secret tips that will allow you guys to get as many mythical eggs as you possibly can. Before we get into this banger of a video, I need you guys to do me a massive, massive favor. If you guys want good luck when you next play Beast from Submitter, get out of my way, dude. Get out of my God dang it. If you guys want good luck when you next pop onto Beast Swarm Simulator and getting mythic eggs, diamond eggs, or just any eggs that you guys are looking for, preferably mythical eggs because, because I mean, well, mythic eggs or gifted eggs, uh, preferably mythical eggs because that's what this video is kind of about, then destroy the heck out of the like button on this video. Also, drop a comment down below uh, what mythicals you haven't got, what mythicals you have got, and uh, hopefully... When you like this video, you're going to get some extra good luck in getting the mythicals that you haven't got and just basically getting some more awesome bees in the Bee Swarm Simulator. Now, without further ado, let's get into five top secret tips you can use to get guaranteed free mythical eggs. You don't need to spend any Robux in this video. I'm not going to get you to spend any Robux. None of these methods include spending Robux or any of your real money. So let's just get straight on into this. Now, I'm going to start off with my least favorite ones, going on to my most favorite ones. And the way I'm determining these methods as my favorite or least favorite is by how efficient they are, how easy slash, I guess, difficult they are to obtain the mythical eggs. And I guess all that kind of shenanigans there. But let's just get started with method number five. So this is my least favorite method that I'm going to be telling you guys in this video. And the reason being is because it's just long winded and there's no guarantee. But nonetheless, it's still on this list because you're not going to be spending Robux and it's practically free. All you need is to be able to have 10 bees. As long as you have 10 bees, you can attempt or have an attempt to get uh, using this method. And what I'm going to show you guys is the stump snail. Now, I'm pretty sure... Uh, killing the stump snail has a random chance or at least an unknown chance of giving you guys a mythical bee It will obviously only be one mythical bee. I don't oh, egg. Sorry I don't actually think multiple eggs can drop at once but killing the stump snail has a random chance uh, An unknown chance just reiterating that to you guys so it could be anything from 1% to 0.5% It could be ridiculously low, but it's definitely possible to get a mythical egg from killing the stump snail I still haven't killed the stump snail. Don't ask me why uh, like I said, this, the reason this is the, the least on this list is because I just find it so long-winded. But obviously, if you're super, super OP and your, your bees are super strong and they're all... Uh, well, what level is the stumps now? Uh, I can't see. It's level 6. If you've got like a bunch of level 10 bees, you, you'll literally just zoom through killing the stump snail and it'll go super super quick and you can farm it efficiently but because i don't i tend to stay away from the stump snail and i find it really really boring there's no guarantee every single time you kill it and it is going to take a while to kill it but eventually after killing it a few times you will find yourself lucky enough to get a mythic egg let me know down below in the comment section if you guys have ever had a mythical egg from a stump snail before uh, obviously i haven't because i just haven't killed it but i do know it is possible uh, to get a uh, mythical egg from the stump snail just let me know if any of you guys have actually been lucky lucky enough to have found one now number four is just a step above uh, the last one i mentioned obviously and and i'm going to get into it in a second but you will need to be somewhat rich for this method to be effective now you guys are probably wondering okay God, what the heck's the method then bro? why don't you just tell us okay. okay guys i'm sorry i had to go with an obvious method royal jellies i don't know how many royal jellies you'd need to get a mythical bee it's gonna be a little bit it's gonna be a little bit difficult it's gonna be a little bit different from before as well uh, the main reason being because it'd be a lot more expensive now obviously that's why i mentioned at the start of this method if you guys aren't rich it's kind of not really like there's not really much of a point to do this i have 400 million honey right now even that i don't actually know if that would be enough 400 million honey probably only get me uh, i think 400 royal jellies and i don't think 400 royal jellies would actually get me a mythical bee i mean i could try it out for you guys i could test it in this video in fact i might actually do that let me let me bring it back rinse out forage 400 of these uh these royal jellies and see if i, I get any mythicals okay so yeah that proves my point 400 million honey got me 400 royal jellies i used all 400 royal jellies and uh uh, put it this way, I ended up on like a demolition bee or something and I had to put my vicious bee back Which is the bee I royal jelly in the first place now luckily it was an event bee and I could just put it back easily But if you guys do it uh, do that and risk it on on something else that you won't be able to royal jelly back into a guaranteed bee It's gonna be kind of GG So if you are gonna do the royal jelly method and make sure you guys are using it on event bees that you can easily just throw back into your hive If it does happen to go wrong I would say I would say aim for at least a thousand royal jellies. Maybe if you can get like five thousand royal jellies. Remember, the, the more royal jellies you have, the more the more chance you have, or the higher chance you have of getting yourself a mythical bee. 
So if 400 road dailies didn't do it for me, maybe try 1,000. If 1,000 doesn't do it, maybe try 2,500. If 2,500 uh, doesn't do it, try 5,000. If that doesn't do it, then try 10,000. Now, these numbers do eventually get ridiculous. I don't know how many you're going to need for a mythical bee, like I've said so many times, because this just is a really, really great area. And mythical bees obviously are the most rarest bee in the game. It's probably going to take some a few royal jellies, but if you guys have done this before, if you guys have got a mythical bee from a uh, royal jelly, please let me know down below in the comment section and let me know how many royal jellies you used to get that mythical bee. Now, moving on to number three, I'm not going to go on about this one too much. I think you guys have already heard this in my most recent videos, and a lot of you guys already know this method anyway, but that would be the brown bear method. Now, speaking of the brown bear, I'm actually going to go ahead and get my quest from him. I haven't done that today. I'm pretty sure I've already completed the quest as well. Uh, yeah, I literally haven't got the quest. He'll come back uh, with a quest every single hour. As long as you guys do these quests every hour for a few days, eventually you would have done about 100 quests. And once you've done 100 quests, you'll get yourself a free mythical egg, which is a guaranteed mythical bee. Just easy after just more or less just playing the game every day for a few hours every single day. So make sure you guys are logging in and doing these brown bear quests because these are probably one of the most important quests you'll be doing, um, especially for the new players and even just late players as well. Um, this is a very, very important stage in the game where you need to be just getting the best bees possible and the best bee possible in the game is obviously a mythical egg. So make sure you guys are doing your brown bear quests and ensuring that you guys get your first mythical egg if you haven't got any mythical eggs yet from the brown bear. For method number two of getting yourself a mythical egg, what you want to do is come through to where the vines are, cut the vines with the scissors if you haven't done so already, come into the uh, the commando chick dungeon, and you want to grind on these bad boys for at least 50 kills. Now after killing these guys 50 times, I think they'll respawn so every half an hour. You could probably do this in a couple of days if you just no life it, but I wouldn't recommend that because you just lose a bunch of brain cells. What you want to do is kill this guy 50 times, respawns about every half an hour, so just do the math uh, how many or how long you need to be playing to be able to kill it 50 times. Once you've killed it 50 times, you'll get a guaranteed mythic egg drop when you kill it, well, literally upon killing it the 50th time. Now, I need to mention that it does get a little bit harder every time you do make the kill. So by the time you get to about the 50th one, it's going to be, it's going to be pretty, it's going to be pretty difficult. I don't think this is the 50th one at level 13, to be honest. I'm, I know for a fact that these guys are quite high level and quite late into the game. And I don't doubt that this is definitely, uh, he's killed it at least 10 times, that's for sure. This is, this is a pretty strong commando chick, 130,000 HP, and it's only got a little bit of HP left, so... God knows how much HP I actually had when it was at full level. Uh, when, sorry, when it was at, at full HP. Or full level, what the heck am I on about? But yeah, um, 50 of these bad boys and you'll have yourself a guaranteed mythic egg. If any of you guys have actually killed this guy 50 times and you've got the mythic egg, let me, know, let me know down in the comment section just so you guys can prove to everybody else that this is actually a thing. But it definitely is guaranteed and confirmed by owner that if you kill this 50 times, the 50th time you kill it, uh, you will 100% get a mythic egg in its, uh, in its loot drop when you kill it the 50th time now method number one is definitely method number one and it's at the top of this list simply because uh the mondo chick is a very very op boss that well i mean it's not actually that op it's pretty it's pretty it's pretty debatable as to how op it is it's basically in terms of loot it's a very very op boss uh the, the loot it drops is second to none some of the best loot in the whole game and on that loot pool yes guys you guessed it you can definitely get yourself a mythical egg if you are super super lucky uh, after killing a mondo chick now i don't know the exact percentage uh on the rate on the drop chance i don't know how many you'd have to kill to get one i could kill one and get one first try or i could kill 10 and not get one and then on the 20th kill i might be able to get one it's super super random super rng and i don't know the exact figures or numbers but you can definitely get a mythical egg from killing the mondo chick now i'm pretty sure the mondo chick's spawn rate uh, isn't so bad either like i'm pretty sure it won't be like the tunnel bear where you have to wait like 48 hours to kill one i think you can kill multiple of these per day actually uh, you just gotta make sure you do come back into the server when it does respawn or basically just stay online until it respawns and you can basically grind these out all day long and eventually maybe by the end of the day you might be lucky enough to get yourself a free mythic egg so that is why this is on the top of the list i could have put it further back just because you need you need to be uh, or need to have 25 bees and it's kind of a hard boss but for the most part if you've got those 25 bees and you have got op bees uh, you should be able to kill this mono chick pretty pretty easily and uh, and then in turn in in the long run basically or hopefully not the long run hopefully short term you eventually get yourself a free mythical 
egg. Now, if you guys have found these methods useful, if you have, if you already knew these methods, fair enough, drop a comment down below the methods you already knew, drop a comment down below uh, if you knew all of the methods, and drop a comment down below if you didn't know any of these methods and you just found this video super, super useful. I appreciate all of you guys. Drop a like on this video as well if you enjoyed this video and you found it useful as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe, turn notifications on so you guys don't ever ever miss out on any of the bangers that i'm dropping uh, on the channel i'm going to be changing my upload schedule actually now we're at the end of this video uh, for those of you who've watched all the way through give yourselves a pat on the back and uh, drop a uh, drop a comment down below if you did watch the video all the way through uh, for those of you who are here we're no longer going to be expecting videos on mondays and uh, wednesdays i'm uploading today simply because it's just i haven't uploaded yesterday which is a sunday and long story short i want to just kind of i want to upload today because i haven't uploaded yesterday but Starting from next week, I'm not going to be uploading Mondays, I'm not going to be uploading Wednesdays. I'm going to be using those days to focus on other stuff, just real-life stuff. But for the most part, I'll be uploading five days a week, including the weekends. And we will definitely be streaming Fridays and Sundays. So if you guys want to stay tuned for that, make sure you guys have your notifications turned on. It's going to be absolutely insane. Uh, quarantine and stuff, all this stuff sucks. So squat. We're going to make it a little bit better just by me being committed to my YouTube channel. Really looking forward to all the streaming on Fridays and Sundays. Make sure you guys put that in your calendars, in your little notepads. Also, don't forget to use star code that guy in the item shop or in Roblox uh, when you guys are buying uh, Robux and stuff to support your games. It also supports me a little bit. And if you guys do, send me a screenshot of me using my star code in Discord or on Instagram or on Twitter or whatever you follow me on. I'll make sure to shout you guys out in the next video I do and just show you guys uh, a lot of appreciation because I really, really do appreciate those who support me or choose to support me a little bit extra that's all for today guys thank you for watching and i'll see you tomorrow for another brand new episode on the channel